If you look at the stats, there was a study that came out about eight years ago on college football players, and they estimated that about 92% of college football players will have CTA, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, at some point in their lives. And when you look at what is done for you, nothing's done for you. Same thing with uh, for the average person who didn't play college sports. There's a lot of people have been in car accidents and they get concussed and they go to the doctor and the doctor's like, ah, you'll be fine. Just go ahead and rest it. You'll get back to normal in no time. And if they do have persistent symptoms, they'll usually go to the neuro. Neuro will run an EEG or do a CAT scan and say, well, everything's fine. We don't know what's going on in there. So there's not a lot of uh, treatments that are that are done for that other than telling people to rest and give it time. With the lasers, we can actively get in there very fast. I always, I give a handout to my patients to let them know. If they get a concussion from whatever means sports or a car accident, they don't, they don't have to lose consciousness. We know, you know, a lot of people think you got to be knocked out to have a concussion and you don't. Uh, I tell them you got to get in here as soon as we can, because we take this laser and we get it on the head mm -hmm. or we get it over the blood vessel. So it goes everywhere in the head. And then mm -hmm. we activate whatever pathway is impacted, whether that's a speech pathway, a language pathway, a math pathway, a balance pathway, we can start to repair those pathways a lot faster. And the key thing here is with these lasers, they've been shown in studies to calm down the glial cells, which are those immune cells in the brain that are normally there to clean up things. But in a case like me, where I had multiple concussions, 11 years of football, seven car accidents, those guys can start to get over aggressive and start chewing up healthy tissue and laser can shift them from an inflammatory state to inflammatory state to where they do their job and then chill out and don't attack healthy tissue. And then you can stimulate brain derived neurotrophic factor, which is like miracle grow for the brain. And you can start to repair what's been going on for those concussions, even if it's a long time ago. It's a lot easier, I think. I'm sure you'll agree when it's brand new to get that laser on them right away. But I've had patients with old concussions that are decades ago that we've been able to make changes with them. Treating concussion is very seamless. It's mm -hmm. a great choice. Again, it's non-invasive and really speaks volumes to the idea of non-thermal low-level laser because who would want to heat a brain that's already injured? It's on yeah. fire and it's acute. To exactly. piggyback one more time on what you talked about, BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factors, the miracle grow, great point. It allows for neuroplasticity in the brain. It allows for brain neurogenesis and the glial cells. The interesting study about laser is that it communicates with the glial cells. Like you said, they're the macrophages of the brain. They do the yeah. cleanup. When they're in an, what we call an M1 phase, they're very pro-inflammatory. We need to be able to flick the switch from an M1 right. to an M2, and laser enables you to flick that switch because when you get to that M2 phase, you're now anti-inflammatory. Okay.